Got a quick carbon 13 NMR challenge for you to try. So we've got the carbon 13 NMR spectrum for an aromatic hydrocarbon with the molecular formula C8H10. We've got to work out which isomer that spectrum belongs to and we've got to justify our answer. Okay, so where should we start? Well, the first thing we'll do is say, well, what kind of carbon environments have we got in, in the, uh, the molecule? So we'll just go to our data sheet. You can see we've got this cluster of three signals at around about sort of 130 to 140. So we're looking um, on the data sheet. I know you can't see this, but uh, it's aromatic carbons, benzene carbons. Okay, so we've got three times uh, benzene carbons. And this signal here is due to one environment in the sort of CC single bond environment. So one times C. C. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to draw out the possible structures for this aromatic um, hydrocarbon and then we'll match the spectrum to the molecule. So there's the four structures there. Hopefully you've got the same four. So all we're going to do now is go through each one and see if it would give this spectrum. Okay, so moving on to the first one. We've got, you can see there's two carbons in different environments in the C to C environment. So this can't be the right answer because that would have had two signals down here. So moving on to this one here, the good thing to look for is symmetry. Okay, so lines of symmetry in your molecule. And hopefully you agree that there's a line of symmetry there in this molecule. So basically what that means is carbons either side of that, sort of equidistant, are equivalent to each other. Right, so these two carbons here are both C to C environments and there's just one environment. Okay, so the, that would give one signal there. What about the benzene carbons? So we've got one, two, three, four. So this one would give four peaks in this region here. So that's not the right answer. So moving on to this one. So again, looking for symmetry. We've definitely got a line of symmetry right down the middle there. And we've got another one across the middle there. Right, so these two carbons are equivalent. So that you would get one peak here. So, so far so good. And then if we look at the carbons in the benzene ring, so they're equivalent to each other. Well, that's one so far in the benzene environment. But these four carbons are all equivalent to each other. So there's only two benzene carbon environments. So this one would only give two signals here. So it's not that one. It's got to be, it's got to be this one. We'll just show why. So line of symmetry is here. So in terms of the carbon-carbon environment, we've got one, they're equivalent to each other. And then benzene carbons, one, two, three. There it is there. Okay, so that was the right answer.